This week, listen to my experiences of auditioning to be a Games Master contestant twice. So this week, I'm going to be talking about some very fond memories, some, some memories that I thought barely remember and that I'm trying to piece together because I think it's something that you, you'll find very, very um, interesting, especially if you're British and grew up um, in, around the 90s. Um, at a time when on, there was a particular night of the week on Channel 4 where you could tune in and watch a brilliant video game show that just seemed just made for people that like video games and didn't try to talk down to anybody that liked games. Um, it was it was crude at times, it was um, it was a bit of everything for everybody and I'm talking about Games Master. So the game, I think it ran for I think seven series I think in the 90s, um, which is quite long I guess. Um, no one expected it to go that far, but the reason I'm talking about it this week is because I auditioned for Games Master not just once, but twice. And more specifically, I failed not just once, but twice. So I thought I'd spend this week just talking about my experiences of auditioning um, and sort of what happened after a little bit. So um, so basically the reason I auditioned twice was um, I used to get Games Master magazine um, every month. I think I didn't have a subscription, I used to just go and buy it every month. It's a great magazine still going strong, I mean it's still running even you know, long after the TV show finished, that magazine is still going, it's I still, from what I gather it's quite good, um, I actually had a few friends that worked for it and it's um, good to see that yeah, magazine is still going, but in that magazine every year they would have some sort of thing to say, look, we're having auditions, um, please uh, send a stamp address on like or um, you know, a letter to this address and, and to be put in the So. Did that on two occasions, and on two occasions they come back with a form and you have to fill it in and you have a photo of yourself. Um, and it, it, I'm trying to remember what the questions were like, it was some sort of like, you know, what sort of games do you like? Um, why, what do you think of this? What do you think of that? Did you write a short, probably short, maybe a short review possibly? Um, it was that long ago, I've sort of kind of forgotten, but did all that, sent it back, and then a little while later I was successful in getting an audition. Now, the auditions were in the same place both times, if I remember correctly and they both took place in a, a library um, in Highbury in London, at Mines almost. Um, and so yeah, so I did those auditions and I guess the, I, I'm trying to piece together the memories because both of these auditions sort of blurred together so I've had to try and sort of sift through the games that, that I was playing and what I was doing and what was happening around that time. So the first series I auditioned for was um, in 1996 and it would have been the Atlantis series. Um, so the or I think the addition was with a researcher by the name of Ravi, who did actually appear in the show as a as a weird little character called the Boss. Um, and I um, the, the old idea with the auditions is you talk with someone for a little bit and you play a couple of games with them, and just chat with them, um, and that's pretty much it really. And um, so the first game I think I played was Virtue Fighter Kids for the Saturn. Um, it was quite interesting because at the time I still only had a SNES, so. I was really on the next generation, I was waiting for the Nintendo 64, so although I played a bit of the normal Virtua Fighter, I wouldn't say I'm particularly great at it. Um, so to hide that, what I did was I remembered the cheat to play as Jurel, and I, it was the first time I'd ever successfully done that cheat, so I picked Jurel and sort of cheesed Ravi to death, um, which may, may not have done me much favour to be honest, probably using a cheat to get the hidden character, but hey. It was, it was all a bit of fun. Um, I think he played as a hero and I just kept sort of spamming the buttons because I'm awful at fighting games, especially Virtua Fighter. Um, the second game I played was um, Super Mario All-Stars and Super Mario World, um, which is the first time I'd ever saw that sort of pack together. I never didn't even know that cartridge existed. Um, so I think it was just a simple speed run through Super Mario Brothers. Um, going as fast as you can, and I did pretty well. I'm pretty sure I went up to I think, used a couple of warp zones. I think I got to at least World Four um, before the time ran out. And again, it's just a sort of little chat. Um, wasn't too much we used to talk about really. Um, I don't remember much about it. I remember getting a few sort of good, like a goodie bag. I think it had a signed photo of Dominic Diamond in there as well. But um, you know, it took a little while. But I, you know, they came back and said, "Sorry, you know, we're not, we're not, you know." We're not a lot in one day you want it for the show basically. I mean, it was a rejection letter, of course. Um, and then the year after, I did uh, the audition for um, the Desert Island series, which was the final series of the show. Um, so, which was quite sad. 
Um, and a very similar setup, um, you know, researchers, yada 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 games, blah blah blah. Uh, and the games I played was Iron Hander, which is a PlayStation um, import shooter um, for the PlayStation 1. Um, again, not my ideal um, genre of video games, but I think I did pretty well. I didn't die too much, um, considering it was a game I'd never played before, never heard of on a, on a console I wasn't exactly familiar with. Um, but yeah, straight up uh, side scrolling shoot em up. Did okay. I think I finished the first level um, before time ran out for me. Uh, the second second game um, I think was Porsche Challenge um, which was also confusing for me because it was the first one of the first games that had the dual shock analog sticks uh, and the way that game works is um, the right stick uh, does your acceleration and brake in that analog sort of style um, so I was sort of getting used to uh, accelerating and braking using analog controls which was quite weird but I think I did pretty damn well but unfortunately um, I wasn't deemed good enough to go on the show and that didn't happen but, um, but what they did as a sort of almost like a commiseration prize and that, that time around they actually offered me um, a chance to be in the audience at um, a filming of Games World this guy TV sort of equivalent to Game Master so I basically took the, the day off um, school my dad took me and a friend there um, to the studio somewhere in Wandsworth and we watched uh, we basically watched an entire week's worth of filming so they did a whole week's worth of shows uh, it was, I think it was on every day, every weekday, and they did the whole lot in sort of one day. Um, so it was a lot of fun. I, I've, again, I think remember too much from it. I remember just sort of sitting there in the audience, quite near the front. Um, you, if you, if there's ever any new recordings, you wouldn't recognise me because I had skinhead and glasses. Um, but it was, I think they were playing games like Colin McRae, and I, I barely remember any of it. But I just remember it was a, a quite fun experience seeing a, a TV show being recorded for the first time. But yeah. Um, there was something else I auditioned for um, and I did actually get on a, a show another time but maybe I will save that story for another time because it's again it's one of those things I've got to piece together um, and it's not exactly my proudest moment as well but maybe I might if you can talk me into it I may well share that story with you another time. Um, I'm going to leave it there. Um, did any of you guys audition for um, Games Master or any similar show? What was your favourite video game show growing up? Um, do you think uh, that there's room for a new video game show? There's been a couple recently that have been sort of mixed, but surely there's, you know, there's, there's, you've got some ideas there for something that would be really cool. Please let me know in the comments. I'm going to let you go, but thank you very much for watching, and I'll be back next week with another video, something a bit different. Um, and uh, take care, happy gaming, and I shall see you around. Goodbye.